in the first part already we discussed different parts of the flower then second part of uh, sexual reproduction flowering plant you have to discuss the steps of sexual reproduction in that first step is free fertilization event in a free fertilization events you have to consider first structure of stamen then structure of anther step then process of micro sporogenesis then pollen grain structure next pollen allergy b pollen and lastly pollen grain viability yes. as we know the stamens are the units of androsium structurally they are composed of two anther lobes and connected by connective and they have a stalk that stalk is called filament basically this filament may attach to the thalamus or it may be attached to the a base of the petals and if you take the stalk of what stalk means holder stalk of stamen we called filament like that in morphology of angiosperm even we explain different what is as a such structure for example stalk of flower we called a pedicel then stalk of inflorescence we call pedunculum stalk of leaf we call petiole like that stalk of ovule we call funicle stalk means holder another hidike ant head if you take a section of the anther anther having totally a four circular structure they are called microsporangia then the condition we call the name tetrasporangiate means the anther having totally four microsporangia tetra refers to four this circular structure covered by two covering hence the anther is dithecus di means two theca refers to covering or coating if you consider young anther generally it having the two anther lobes connected by means of connective each circular part we called as a microsporangium totally there are four microsporangia we have hence stamen we called tetrasporangiate if you take a a enlarged view of single microsporangium it is covered by totally four layer outer epidermis next endothecium next middle layer innermost layer is tapetum if you consider epidermis always a epidermis in all plant body part it is a outermost covering <coughs> and 
generally in most of the plant body part suppose you take root leaf stem it is generally single layered it is then the role is a protective covering it is therefore it is its role is helps for protection then next uh, endothecium as well as middle layer composed of a parenchyma cells and these parenchyma cells generally play a very important role in protection one second one they play a very important role in dehiscence then dehiscence means breaking in definite direction as we know in first year we classify fruits into two groups one fleshy fruits and another hasi irtava adakke fleshy fruits antu helthar another one dry fruits in dry fruits we classify in dehiscent fruits and dehiscent fruits in dehiscent fruits means they will not broken up at all and unbroken uh, unbrokeable anthe helthar dehiscent fruits means they break up in a definite direction therefore dehiscen means breaking in definite direction breaking in definite direction we call dehiscen like that one more word is there incision cutting in definite direction we call incision if you take endothecium and middle layer when the anther matures at that time it absorb water vapor or humidity from the atmosphere and uh, the parenchyma cells undergo disintegration as a result the anther broken up in a definite direction that process we call what dehiscence breaking in definite direction is called dehiscence the innermost layer is most significant layer it is that is called the name tapetum the tapetum although composed of tall pillar like cells <clears throat> and uh, they are generally binucleated or sometimes multinucleated then these cells or uh, tapetal cells are generally a having dense cytoplasm dense means rich we may say then the generally binucleated cells are formed by endomitosis process as we know during mitosis what happens the karyokinesis followed by cytokinesis but here what happens only nuclear division is take place there is no cytoplasmic division hence partition wall is not formed as a result number of nuclei increase in a cell therefore in all living beings either you take animals or plants if multinucleated cell is there it is formed by a process called endomitosis endo means inside inside mitosis is take place without cytoplasmic division if you take uh, functions of uh, a tapetum it play a very important role to nourish the microspores as well as pollen grains hence that the cytoplasmic region which when you analyze it contain more nutrient in tapetal cells second one it play a very important role in secretion of sporopollenin it is a substance present on outer coating of pollen grain generally pollen grain having two coatings one is intine it is inner covering another one exine it is outer covering exo refers to outer that uh, outer coating of the pollen grain covered by a specialized polysaccharide that polysaccharide is called sporopollenin it is secreted by tapetum at the same time the tapetum also secrete a one sticky substance its name is pollen kit that pollen kit mainly found in entomophilus flowers 
द फ्लावर विच पोलिनेटेड बाय ए इंसेक्ट वी कॉल्ड एंटमोफिलस फ्लावर एंड दीज एंटमोफिलस फ्लावर्स पोलन ग्रेन कवर्ड बाय पोलन किट एंड दैट पोलन किट इज ए येलो कलर फिस्कस स्टिकी सब्सेंस विच हेल्प्स टू अटैच द ब्रिस्टल्स ऑफ द इंसेक्ट बॉडी वी नो द ब्रिस्टल्स आर हेयर लाइक प्रोसेस प्रेजेंट ऑन द इंसेक्ट बॉडी हेंस हेयर पोलन किट सिक्रीटेड बाय ए स्पेशली टेपेटम एंड इट ऑल्सो ए सिक्रीट a one specialized protein we call compatibility protein that protein helps to know whether the pollen grain is their own or foreign own type of pollen grain is there at that time it germinate on the stigma that process what we call compatibility if foreign flower pollen grain dusted down in stigma there is no germination that phenomenon what we call the name incompatibility in generally what we call it as a mismatch if you consider here the diagram of anther young anther means you have to draw the complete diagram and where we are getting 3 marks question for sketch and label otherwise 5 marks with explanation only only if you take single corner it is a diagram of microsporangium therefore here you are getting three type question sketch and label ts of anther sketch and label ts of young anther sketch and label ts of microsporangium let me show you what the word is next term is microsporo genesis that is simply formation of microspores what we call microsporogenesis if you consider anther n anther at center we have sporogenous tissue thus that sporogenous tissue is diploid in nature means it contain two sets of chromosomes that develops into pollen mother cell that pollen mother cell we called pmc and uh, that pollen mother cell responsible for formation of microspores hence it undergo meiosis and by meiosis there is a formation of haploid cells that process what we call the name microspores suppose these microspores develops exine and intine they itself become pollen grain therefore the process of formation of haploid microspores haploid microspores from diploid pollen mother cell by meiosis is called microsporogenesis that is the process of formation of formation of haploid microspores from diploid pollen mother cell is called microsporogenesis this uh, once again uh microspores suppose it is a single microspore this microspore when develops exine and intine as a two covering at that time it become pollen grain and this uh, pollen grain undergo mitosis as a result two haploid cells are formed these uh, haploid cells one is vegetative cell and it is larger one and another one the small generative cell then generative cell once again undergo mitosis as a result there is a formation of two haploid 
sperms it is vegetative cell <coughs> and these two are haploid sperm in such a way during microsporogenesis the microspores are formed and they later develops into pollen grain pollen grain finally gives haploid sperms of microsporogenesis how that uh, development of <coughs> male gametophyte is take place we have to discuss as we know the pollen mother cell when undergo meiosis there is a formation of a haploid cell that haploid cell is called microspores these microspores when develops a exine and intine at that time the same structure we called pollen grain and pollen grain is a first stage of male gametophyte and uh, this pollen grain undergo a mitosis during this mitosis what happens a symmetric spindle fiber is formed as a result one cell become very large and that we call vegetative cell always vegetative cell play a very important role in nourishment vegetative refers to nourishment and this small haploid cell we call generative cell when you compare these two cells the chromosome number remains same vegetative cell also having haploid and generative cell but there is a change in the a cytoplasmic composition if you take cytoplasm of the vegetative cell it is huge quantity it is less second there is a presence of large vacuoles in vegetative cell generally in generative cell there is no vacuoles and uh, third one here vegetative cell contain lot of nutrients but here the nutrients are absent hence vegetative cell nourish the generative cell now generative cell undergo once again a meiosis and produce two haploid sperms sorry it undergo mitosis sorry mitosis and uh, produce two haploid sperms this is the development of male gametophyte